Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are working on intake manifold gaskets. When you're building your FE, it's very important to choose the correct intake gasket for your combination. So let me show you guys. This is your most common Felpro type gasket. We'll be using this to compare because this is the kind of gasket you will get if you buy a kit for an FE, in for an FE engine or for an FE intake in general. So this is an early, this is a 1960 uh, low riser head. As you can see, this low riser gasket, the standard gasket, fits really well. It lines up pretty darn good all the way around and uh, overall would provide a good seal. Now later on in the 60s at some point, they made these. They have the floor raised quite a bit. And this will work, this, this combination will work as long as you use a intake manifold with a similar floor. So this is the intake manifold that should go with those heads. Doesn't line up the greatest, especially on the floor. And that is uh, the way those heads are as well. So this intake gasket with this head and intake combination would seal well. However, it becomes problematic whenever you use these heads with the taller intake port and this gasket with a medium riser intake such as my Sidewinder. It barely seals in that bottom edge. It does, kind of, sort of, if you line it up right, but uh, on the bottom edge, it does not really seal very well, or this it comes really close to not sealing. So that's why it's important when you're using, when you're picking your combination of parts, they pick the correct gasket. So this, like I said, is your standard FE intake gasket that you will get if you go to your auto parts store and ask for some. These are uh, Mr. Gasket, um, that's your part number right there. And they are medium riser intake gaskets. Comes with a cork in seals as well. And uh, big thing with these are, I will show you right now. There's your standard gasket there. You can see it comes up quite a bit more than this one does. So this medium riser gasket will seal a medium riser intake much better. It's just important to know important to understand that concept there's different size ports for different size fe stuff but just important to check your gasket against the surface you're sealing and just make sure that it actually will seal otherwise you're gonna end up with uh burning oil like i have in this car and other bad things and it might even not run because it won't seal and it'll have a giant vacuum like an intake manifold which is not what you want all right so i got pretty excited when i was talking about all those intake ports and stuff. This is really something I was passionate about at the time and it, I got very, uh, very excited about it. So I drew this out here to hopefully show you guys a little bit more clearly what I'm talking about. So on my 352, I have medium riser heads, essentially. They're the later C8 ports, but they essentially have the port of a medium riser head. Before, I was using the low riser gasket with the medium riser head on a medium riser intake and the gasket didn't seal to the intake pretty much because of the port mismatch and the thickness of the gasket. Basically, I just wanted to show you guys two different medium and low riser ports you will run into when dealing with an NFE. And hopefully, what I said made sense. Like I said, I got really excited about it, but it's important to choose the correct gasket to go with your correct intake and head combination. That way it'll seal. Anyway, I hope that made sense. Any questions, put down in the comment section below. And we'll see you next time on It'll Run. We'll get back on the truck. 